We can never insure 100% of the population against 100% of the hazards and vicissitudes of life, but we have tried to frame a law which will give some measure of protection to the average citizen and to his family against the loss of a job and against poverty-stricken old age. When the Great Depression struck, there was no federal social safety net for the elderly and the unemployed. Almost half of American senior citizens were unable to support themselves. Jobless people fell quickly into poverty. Family resources and charities were often stretched beyond the breaking point, and state and local government provided little aid. President Roosevelt, Secretary of Labor Francis Perkins, and other reformers had long supported the idea of government-sponsored pensions and unemployment insurance. In California, Francis Townsend launched a national campaign to provide everyone over 60 with generous monthly pensions, funded by a national sales tax. Since recipients had to spend their checks within 30 days, Townsend argued his proposal would also revive the economy by stimulating consumer spending. In Louisiana, Senator Huey Long's popular Share Our Wealth program promised to make every man a king by taxing the rich to provide a guaranteed annual minimum income to every American. In Michigan, Charles Coughlin, a charismatic Roman Catholic priest with a popular national radio program, railed against Wall Street bankers and advocated inflationary monetary schemes. On August 14, 1935, FDR signed his proudest domestic achievement, the Social Security Act. It created old age pensions and unemployment insurance funded by payroll taxes on workers and employers. The act also provided grants to states to assist disabled people and fatherless children. Today, an estimated 165 million workers are covered under Social Security, and more than 59 million Americans receive benefits each year. Enacted some eight decades ago, Social Security is providing some measure of protection against the loss of a job and against poverty-ridden old age to more Americans than ever. 75 years ago today, in the midst of the Great Depression, Franklin Roosevelt signed Social Security into law, laying a cornerstone in the foundation of America's middle class and assuring generations of America's seniors that after a lifetime of hard work, they'd have a chance to retire with dignity. We have an obligation to keep that promise, to safeguard Social Security for our seniors, people with disabilities, and for all Americans today, tomorrow, and forever.